that it? Did you did you get the shot? Nailed it. The more endangered it is, you know, the, the the better it is for you, apparently. Yeah. And Got some good stuff at uh, Lawson's here. Don't leave home without it. Ooh, kind of phrase. Something to uh, something to eat in the jungle. Let's get a couple of these. Run out of, uh, they've run out of onigiri. What is that? It's uh, a rice ball surrounded with uh, seaweed. They've normally got about seven or eight different varieties. Today, zero. Uh, I guess two packets of sandwiches is the order of the day then. Let's get some uh, water or some liquid. I love this stuff, it's called pokery sweat. Now a pokery is a South African or South American rodent and they sell sweat. <laughs> so this is sweat of a South American rodent. Don't leave home without it. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Mark Thorpe. I run a YouTube channel called Sea Wild Earth. Uh, it's generally about wildlife filming, photography, and you know, hacks and bits and pieces for any kind of photography, really. Landscape uh, is a large part of what I also do. And uh, lighting, I'm trying to make uh, lighting options for especially macro photography. Every now and again, people will you know, contact me and ask me if I can just show them some of the wildlife here in Okinawa, and I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. There's also a couple of um, homestays that I go to and take people to. Uh, those are like um, bed and breakfast kind of things in the middle of the jungle. Uh, and it's just a nice place to be, surrounded by the nature that I'm trying to introduce to people. Uh, we actually, I moved to Okinawa uh, probably about three years ago, three and a half years ago, so really only since then. Um, but I've been involved with uh, wildlife uh, filmmaking and photography for about uh, 26 years now, so a few years.
what's the trick for finding a, a snake out here? Just uh, go slow and take a look all around because they, they can be literally anywhere along this river. Oh, I love it. Is so, this your, your happy place? Oh, this is definitely my happy place times 10. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Social distancing is all the rage these days. I'm, I'm all for that. Got a habu. Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, I see it. It's gone in through there now. What you also get, and I, there was one next to him as well. Yeah. Is you get the, uh, the a hen. fishing spider. Oh. And it's a spider about as big as your hand. Wow. But the two front legs of it on the very end, they've got like a white tip. Uh huh. And they put those in the water acting like bait. Oh. So when small fish and organisms come up, yeah. they grab that. Wow, that's crazy. That's awesome. That kind of, see that little crag like that? That's ideal for habu. This is the Yambaru. Uh, we're in the north somewhere of Okinawa. Uh, when I come out into this area, I prefer not to uh, say exactly where we are, uh, just because there is some pretty, uh, pretty amazing wildlife here. Uh, that is endemic to Okinawa and obviously uh, we all try to do our best not to, uh, not to invite the uh, illegal collection of the wildlife. A whole range of gear that I'm using today, um, different things, GoPro Hero 7 Black with uh, the mic adapter, so I'm using a Rode uh, Video Mic Pro with the dead cat, uh, Neo Photo tripod, main tripod for any photography that I want to do with the uh, Neo Photo LH55 head on it, all very good, uh, got a Gitzo 6 carbon uh, travel tripod with these funny rubber mounts that I've got for if I want to put batteries or my cell phone on it to act as a monitor for my GoPro. Uh, what's in the goodie bag? It's all in plastic bags. Can't be too careful campers. Canon EOS 5 DSR with a, a three-legged thing, uh, L bracket cemented in place literally. Looks horrible, but it works perfect. Lauer 15mm f4, one-to-one uh, -one macro. So super wide angle, but one-to-one -one macro, crazy bean. So I'm gonna go and try and photograph a, um, the uh, sword-tailed newt that we saw over here. Um, in order to do so, I'm gonna need a very specific flash, which I've got in here. I call it the Franken flash. It's again from the Lauer company. Now, this is homemade diffusion. So, there it is, boom. So, you've got twin, uh, twin flash heads that you can move and power independently, modeling light, boom. So, that just goes on here. All good to go. I just, uh, some people prefer street photography, others like models, that kind of stuff for me. I'm a little bit of a loner, I guess, uh, and I just like being out in the wild, um, just seeing what is around in the natural world and uh, hoping to interact with it as much as possible. So what, we, what is it? Uh, just down here in the vegetation as we were walking along, I saw this, uh, here it is, it's a leaf-breasted turtle. They're endemic to, to Okinawa. If I move this. something that you don't see very often here in, uh, in the Ambaru there. As you can see, they look just like a stone. So they would be very highly camouflaged uh, against the rocks and you'd, you'd quite easily overlook them. You said, why are they endangered? Because they're poached? Uh, yeah, they're, they're poached a lot. They're, they're highly sought after for uh, illegal wildlife collection uh, and traders, collectors. So uh, 
very, very lucky to see that guy today. I'd love to, I want to try and get a photo of him. All right, so Mark, is that it? Did you did you get the shot? Nailed it. From where I initially set the GoPro up, and right there, sitting on a log, now on a log, was a uh, leaf-breasted uh, sea, uh, a leaf-breasted turtle, uh, and it's just over here. I've taken a shot with the Lauer 15 millimeter got a really nice shot of it in its environment but uh, it would be a miss of me not to share this guy with you so check this out We're back. We're back on solid ground. You oh, we were always on solid ground. We made it. Like good stuff. Right, how was this trip? Uh, it's good. Uh, very submersive. <laughs> nah, cool, man. It was good. It was, I mean, only one Habu, but hey, that's where it is. Uh, but at least we saw one, young one. Buggered off pretty quick, but uh, lots of other wildlife, which is uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, happy to share that with you guys. Hope you had fun. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, I generally tend to live by the motto of uh, a man is only as big as the dreams he dares to live. Uh, and that just stops a lot of people from saying, you know, I want, I want, I, I want to do this, I want to do that. You can say that until the cows come home, but until you actually uh, get up, uh, get up off your butt and do it, then uh, you got to go and do it.